At some point between the 1st and 5th century CE, the Hindu sage Patanjali began to codify the ancient meditative tradition practiced throughout India, where he recorded techniques nearly as old as Indian civilization itself. In 196 manual called Yoga Sutras, these tests define yoga as the yoking or straining of the mind, an effort to reach a state of pure consciousness. Over time, yoga became part of physical element from gymnastic to wrestling. Today, there are a multitude of approaches to modern yoga, although most still maintain the three main core elements of Patanjali practice, which are physical posture, breathing exercise, and spiritual contemplation. This blend of physical and mental exercise is widely believed to have a unique set of health advantages, such as improving strength and flexibilities, boosting heart and lung function, and enhancing psychological well-being. But what have contemporary studies shown regarding the benefit of this ancient tradition? Because its unique combination of activities makes it difficult to determine which component is producing a specific health benefit. Additionally, yoga studies are often made up of small sample sizes that lack diversity and the heavy reliance on self-reporting makes the results subjective. However, there are some health benefits that has more robust scientific support than others. Let's start with flexibility and strength. Twisting your body into yoga's physical posture stretches multiple groups of muscles in a short time. Stretching can change the water content of these muscles, ligament and tendon to make them more elastic. Over time, regular stretching stimulates stem cells, which then differentiate into new muscle tissue and other cells that generate elastic collagen. Frequent stretching also reduces the body natural reflex to constrict muscles, improving your pain tolerance for feats of flexibilities. Researchers have found that one form of yoga improves flexibility more than another, so the impact of specific posture is unclear. But like the other low-impact exercises, yoga reliably improves fitness and flexibility in healthy population. The practice has also been shown to be potentially powerful therapeutic tool. In studies involving patients with a variety of musculoskeletal disorder, yoga was more helpful at reducing pain and improving mobility than any other form of low-impact exercise. Adding yoga to an existing exercise routine can improve strength and flexibility for hard-to-treat conditions like chronic lower back pain, rheumatoid arthritis, and osteoporosis. Yoga means of physical exercise and regimented breathing has proven similarly therapeutic for lung health. Lung diseases like chronic bronchitis, emphysema, and asthma shrink the passageway that carry oxygen while weakening the membrane that bring oxygen into the blood. But breathing exercise like those found in yoga relaxes muscle constricting those pathways and improve oxygen diffusion. Increases the blood oxygen contest is especially helpful for those with weak heart muscles who have difficulties pumping oxygen throughout the body and for those with healthy heart, this practice can lower blood pressure and reduce risk for cardiovascular disease. Yoga's most widely celebrated may be most difficult to prove its psychological effect. Despite the long-standing association between yoga and psychological well-being, there is little conclusion evidence on how the practice affects mental health. But one of the biggest claims is that yoga improves symptoms of depression and anxiety disorder. Since diagnosis of this condition varies widely as to their origin and severity, it is difficult to quantify yoga's impact. However, there is evidence to suggest that yoga can help reduce symptoms of stress as well as meditation or relaxation. Research on the effect of yoga is still evolving. In the future, we will need large studies incorporating diverse participants, which can measure yoga's impact on heart attack, cancer rate, cognitive functions, and more. But for now, yoga can continue its ancient tradition as a way to exercise, reflect, and relax. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. 
If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to Back to Learn and Go. And as always, don't forget to smash that like button. God bless you. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Rah. Thank you.